Hi, my name is Shani Ferguson. I am speaking to you from Jerusalem. I wanted to address something. First of all, thank you for all of you who were concerned about me since I didn't update you since Thursday. Uh, like I said, we have a lot going on here, a lot behind the scenes, trying to help soldiers get equipment they need and a lot of displaced families. So don't have all the moments uh, that I want in a day. And of course I have my five kids to take care of. So I will give you updates as I can, but uh, be at peace, we are okay. Uh, we're near Jerusalem, so we've had a few sirens, but for the most part, it has been quiet here. A uh, couple of things that have happened since Thursday is that the north is starting, the north uh, border of Israel is starting to um, get some, um, I'm trying to think of the words in English, <laughs> but uh, some rockets have been fired. Uh, the army, Israeli army is uh, up there also ready for Hezbollah to kick in, something that we've been expecting since the beginning of this war. It is actually a war, and this is something that I want to address because I know a lot of my friends even that know the situation here and they love Israel are not aware how serious this is. So I just want to explain that this is not a military operation. This is a war. There have been four wars in my lifetime. The first one was when I was four years old. It was the Lebanese War, and it was my... My dad fought in that war. The next one was the Gulf War in 1991. I remember that war vividly. Um, 2006 was the second Lebanese war, which didn't affect us down here as much because it was closer to the border of Lebanon. Um, but this is a war, not a military operation. This is going to go on for weeks, if not months. And it's very, very difficult. The atrocities that happened down south, I was just very surprised to realize how many people that love Israel don't realize the severity of what we have happening right now. So I just wanted you to know, and if you will speak to those around you, let them know that this is really, really bad. We have never been attacked like this. Our prime minister said this is the worst, October 7th was the worst day in Jewish history since the Holocaust. These are not terms that we threw around lightly because the Holocaust is this sacred and terrible thing. But just a few days ago, I was listening to a guy who was works in, um, in Zaka, which is the organization that goes and cleans up the mess after a terrorist attack. And they went down there. He said, I've never seen anything like this. The, the level of cruelty that these terrorists showed, 1,500 of them, which are currently dead, so more than 1,500, which came over the border and terrorized and butchered our people down south is stuff that even the Nazis didn't do, to quote him. So it's, it's, it's really bad. Um, I am sorry that it took this for many world leaders to finally support Israel's need to remove Hamas from their position of sovereignty and government in Gaza. And we'll see what happens on the northern border. We are in our ninth day of this war. And one of the major things that is happening in Gaza is that Israel is asking people to evacuate in Gaza, to evacuate Gaza City and go south of the river. The reason they're doing this is because Hamas has built their entire tunnel structure, potentially headquarters underneath Gaza City. And the reason they did that is because they knew that Israel would never... <laughs> so constant planes flying over our house. Um, Israel would never um, attack. <laughs> it's like explosions in the background too. Um, Israel would never, they know that Israel would never attack um, civilian areas. And so in order to remove their infrastructure, they have asked citizens in Gaza City to move south. Many of them are trying to, and, and Hamas is trying to stop them because they need them as a human shield. So just look at the stark difference in cultures where in Israel, the military is going down to our southern cities and helping evacuate hundreds of thousands of Israelis that survived the terror attacks that live down south. And at the same time in Gaza City, Hamas is keeping Gazan residents from evacuating their cities because they want them to be human shields. 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for praying and thank you for giving. We've had such an outpouring of people that are asking us, how can we help beyond praying? How can we give practically? So we set up a website, it's israelneedsme.com. It goes straight to the donate page on our Maoz Israel website. We will be here at the end of the story and can't wait to share that with you.